Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset and reinstall your Windows 10 operating system on your Dell Latitude D630 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the Start menu. And you're going to proceed to type in Reset. Best match should say Reset this PC. Left click on that to open up this new settings window here. Underneath Reset this PC, if your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall as Windows. Left click on Get Started here. Underneath Choose an option, you can select Keep My Files or Remove Everything. Underneath Keep My Files in this little description, it says Removes Apps and Settings but Keeps Your Personal Files. Second option, underneath Remove Everything, removes all your personal files, apps, and settings. Even though the first option says Keep My Files, I would highly recommend backing up your documents and pictures and whatnot, and it's definitely not keeping all your files if it's going to be removing apps and settings. Again, that's just an interpretation, and that's how I read it, and that's how it actually works. I don't really like how they just say keep my files here because it sounds like it's going to be keeping everything, which it does not. But for the purpose of this video and how I'm going to be doing complete factory reset, I'm going to select remove everything, which will remove all your personal files, apps, and settings. So left clicking on that. Then do you want to clean the drives too? First option is just going to do a quick reinstall of the operating system. Second option is going to actually clean the drive. If you're going to be donating or giving your computer to another party, I would suggest selecting the second option. But for most people, just removing your files will be sufficient. So I would just select that. And then we'll have one final prompt here to confirm. Ready to reset this PC. Reset will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC all open programs or all apps and programs and any changes made to settings this will take a while and your PC will restart left click on the reset button here again this will take some time please be patient give it some time to run and once we get back to some further prompts or things that require some explanation I will come back and start narrating the video again so just hold on guys and I will be back
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here. It should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Hello everybody, I'm back. So it looks like our computer has successfully taken the factory reset on our Latitude D630 computer. And at this point you should be good to go, reinstall any programs you had running on it before. And I would recommend creating a system restore point once you're done doing that, just as good practice, and back up any files in the future as well. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. 
And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.